good morning everybody it's the boss lady here coming to you thursday uh i want to do another vlog it's gonna be kind of a bits and pieces kind of put together but it's early it's like seven o'clock in the morning um miss pennant has a meeting at her school it's called moms and muffins is that right mm -hmm. and so um i had to make us some breakfast i made some little egg sandwiches and she got her juice i got water so we're getting ready to head out i had to turn on the interior light because it's dark outside um uh, but yes yeah, so i just wanted to you know tap in real quick and you know let you know what i'm doing today um and then i'll come back and give you a recap of my meeting Hey everybody, so I'm back. I'm just leaving the school now, pulling out the uh, parking lot. And let me tell you, <laughs> I have to just say, and I know everybody gonna get tired of me saying this, but I am so happy with the decision I made. Oh my goodness. There were so many parents, grandparents, aunties, uncles there for this first Moms and Muffins meeting. And it wasn't so much a meeting, but it was just kind of like a meet and greet. And it was amazing. And not only did um, the kids who came with, you know, a parent or relative, whatever, not only were they there, but the kids who came in from the bus, they also came and had, you know, muffins and stuff. So it was um, almost like a, just a, a breakfast among the, the school, basically. You know, staff was there and every time I go, I meet a new staff person, which is just amazing to me. Um, but here's the thing. Now, you know, we live in a society where everything is is driven off of race. Why? I have no idea. But <laughs> I, you know, and I guess I'm I'm on this this tangent because I just had a conference and we were talking about diversity and racism and you know our Minnesota nice and whatever, you know, and when I go to Miss Pena's school, I don't, you know, you, you know how you hear people say, oh, I don't see color and color is blind and blah, blah, blah. That's not, that's not my take on it. I do see color, you know, I'm, we're all different, you know, sizes, shapes, whatever, but the love that's there is different. I mean, there, there is a love there. There's not no, you know, hatred among folks or whatever, um, we all recognize that we're different, but you know, we come together for the common good and the common good is our children and making sure that they're, you know, serving the Lord. So I'm sitting there and I'm just <clears throat> embarking on, you know, the concert this week and then going to the muffin, you know, mommy and muffin thing. Um, and then once again, you got that one good parent that comes through and oh, you know, there's only X amount of kids of color in our daughter's class. And well, you know, in my other child's class, there's like six, seven. I'm like, so? <laughs> Honestly, so what? I mean, you knew that going into the school that they would still be considered a minority. You know, what's the big deal? Do they not know their, their true identity? Because I mean, my child knows her identity and my child knows she's there to get education. So she's not there for the the militant acts and the, the protests. And she's there to get what they already have. And that is an education. That's why I'm sending her there. That's why I'm paying this big bill. Because I want her to get the best education possible. Now, is it possible she could get it somewhere else? It's possible. But do we have that to give to her here in Minnesota? No. <laughs> you know so I don't know people just they I'm telling you they talk about the wrong stuff at the wrong time but I am blessed anyhow my baby is blessed you know we had a great conversation um, about the school in general and she you know she just once again just said you know mommy I love it there you know um it is challenging you know the work is challenging but it's a good challenge you know and i'm not having issues with you know the kids like i was before you know and her best friend <laughs> she's white does it bother me no no i just wanted to meet the little girl i met her what a couple nights ago sweetest pie fine with me you know i mean people need to get out of this you know oh i gotta just be with my own type of mentality 
that's the problem in this world that's the problem i'm just saying just saying but anyway so long story short let me wrap this up because i wanted this just be a quick little vlog but um they had the school you know decked out with you know fall decor and I was just like, oh my goodness. You know, I walked up to the school and they had mums and pumpkins outside. I said, hey, y'all, y'all getting it going on? Now, her other school, I don't recall them decorating for fall. <laughs> I just don't. Um, and then they had this little board in the, what is it, what do you call it, in the lunchroom. And it was decorated for fall. And it was talking about, you know, those box tops that you get on certain things you buy, you know, like clinics boxes, cereal boxes or whatever. Um, they collect box tops. And so, um, which I need to start paying attention to when I'm buying my items so I can supply some to the school. But anyway, they had that board all decked out. I know when we first started school, I think it was decked out with Pokemon balls or something. I don't remember. But anyway, it was fall related today. Um, so I'm sure once Christmas time comes, it'll be, you know, Christmas related. Um, and then the lady who was setting up for the the muffins and moms or moms and muffins um, She had this beautiful centerpiece. It was so pretty. I was like see I need that for my porch and all it was was um, Some mums and some pumpkins and I was just like that's really nice And so she was like you really like what I did. I said no I really love what you did, you know and it was just, it was simple. It was just one little centerpiece. You know, she didn't decorate every single table. It was just a table where the muffins were and the water. And um, it was really nice. So it was very nice. And we had muffins. They had about four or five variations of muffins. I know they had blueberry, lemon poppy seed, banana chocolate chip, um, double chocolate. And then they had a gluten-free um, section as well, which was nice, you know. Um, and then they served coffee, they served water, and they served orange juice. And the orange juice was to die for. So, yeah, I think it was Minute Maid or something. I, don't, I can't remember. But it was it was a good orange juice. But um, And then we also took pictures. So, um, I don't have the pictures with me. They, um, they're they going to print them out and then send them home with each individual child tomorrow, I guess. But, yeah, so, you know, I got pictures of me and my baby. You know, just doing what we do. So anyway but it was a nice nice little gathering you know i'm trying to um as much as i can go to the school um i miss this other meeting and i guess they alternate there's like one group that meets and it's i guess for everybody and then there's another group that meets and it's more for the diversity group or whatever and i'm all for diversity but my thing is, I'm all for just being nice to everyone. That's that's my thing, you know, making sure that everyone's treated fairly. That's that's my extent of diversity when it comes to the school and workplace, whatever. So, you know, I'm not gonna break my back to try to make it to just the diversity group. I want to go to all the functions as much as I can. So we'll see, you know. Um, um, oh, I know what I was gonna tell you guys, and then I'll wrap it up for sure. A boy, <laughs> a boy gave his number to Miss Peanut, and Miss um, Peanut came home, and this was last Thursday, so it's been a week ago. My mom picked her up, and she told my mom. Well, my mom didn't tell me. Uh, Miss Peanut told me, but she told me like after the fact, because she told my mom first, and then I picked her up. And when we got home, I was rushing doing something. I don't know, and then. Um, so she saw her dad, and so she was telling her dad about it. Well, then she tells me about it when we were on our way somewhere else. And um, anyway, long story short, a boy put it, wrote his number down and put her, his number on Miss Pina's desk. And um, she saw it and looked at it like, um, what is this, you know? And another classmate, another girl, she saw it, and she was like, oh, uh-uh took the paper back over to the boy and was like here <laughs> and he kind of sat there peanut said and um you know he was like embarrassed but then you know he eventually took the paper and he crumpled it up and threw it away so i think he was very embarrassed by it which i mean rightfully so and so um you know and i asked miss peanut i said well 
how do you feel you know i'm trying to get the gist of where she's coming from and she said well i was shocked and when she, and when she says that oh my gosh when pina says i was shocked i just i get tickled because you don't expect a child to say something like that you expect an adult to say i was shocked but you know she's like i was shocked like what is he doing give me his number and so my mom bless her soul my mom approached the situation like uh -uh, you don't know, you know mom old school so you know her dad he just said okay when she, when he found out that you know the girl gave the number back to him and and he crumpled it up whatever just her dad was like okay and so because here's me i'm asking well what was daddy's reaction you know because i'm like oh lord y'all trying to wake up the hulk don't don't wake the hulk up now let him stay asleep so um anyway so i was like okay and then um i you know we just had a conversation about it and i said you know you don't have your own cell phone um we don't have a house phone because you know we're in the new age everybody got cell phone but um i told her i said your number is my number and my number is your number and you have to have permission to give out the number number one i said number two we don't call boys we're not old enough to call boys um and then i asked her i said well did you have a conversation with the boy and she was like no i said did he say hi boo you know or anything you know did he say you're ugly you're cute anything <laughs> I mean, <laughs> you know and she said no she said i've never had a conversation with him outside of saying you know hi my name is jack or whatever whatever his name is so and I said, well, maybe, I said, is there other boys at your table? And she said, yeah. And I said, well, maybe he was writing his number down from one of the other boys. She said, no, mommy. It was on my desk, like where I sit. If I sit down, it was right there. And I was just like, oh. So, so back to the whole race thing. So, you know, having a conversation, you know, this morning with some parents and, you know, and the first thing the, the mother said, this is how we got on the subject of the whole how many kids of color in the class um because she said well what color was he what's his name and you know and i was just like well what does it matter because nine times out of ten and i'm just gonna be honest hand to god nine times out of ten when pina gets old enough to possibly date because of the school that she's in nine times out of ten more than likely the guy is gonna be white i mean i'm already there now daddy is not but i'm there you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, because it's just what it is. But when she said that, I was just like, I said, well, you know, I mean, and so that's when we got on the whole subject of the whole race thing. So that's why I wanted to bring that up because that's how we got to that subject. It wasn't just a, you know, oh, by, you know, happenstance, we're going to talk about this. No, it, it, the reason why it came up is because of what happened with Peanut. But anyway, <laughs> so yes, we've had our first, um, boy give out his number which was odd because you know a lot of times girls give out their number but um you know i just know that my baby is still my baby she's still precious and uh she ain't on that level hallelujah <laughs> so we just gonna praise god anyhow okay but um like i said overall we are just totally blessed with the school she is doing a phenomenal job um I know I have posted on Instagram about this, but Miss Peanut has met and exceeded her goal for reading. Um, you know, every quarter we have to set a goal, like how many points she's going to get. So she, it doesn't matter um, how many books it is. It, de it depends on the points. And so she met her point goal and she's exceeded that. Excuse me, exceeded that. And then um, math, she is whizzing through her math quizzes, no problem, even though that math is kicking my tail. But anyway and she also got chosen to be a part of the first leadership team at her school so and she had to do an application and it was like a three-page application they want to know your name what type of leadership uh goals or not goals but leadership skills have you done either in your home in your previous school um your church things of that nature so you know she talked about church she talked about um her girls are powerful group she talked about girl scouts um so you know i mean she's she's really putting both feet in the pot if that makes sense you know she is really about her school and about her business girlfriend is jamming so um 
daddy said we're gonna do something special for the baby i'm not sure what but uh y'all stay tuned because <laughs> hopefully it's not what i'm thinking you know i have to pray pray on that um and i didn't bring this up and i you know um i don't know why i didn't i meant to do that and i didn't but um on september 30th uh, was the one year anniversary of Kobe's passing and if you're not familiar who Kobe is Kobe was Miss Peanut's first pet ever well not first pet but first cat um, she's had fish and frogs but um, it was her first cat and he only lived for three weeks well he lived for a couple of months but we only had him for three weeks and he passed away and we don't know I, we believe he was already sick when we got him but anyway um, so we did say a prayer, you know, on the 30th, but we didn't dwell on it because we didn't want to make her sad. But she is now to the point where she is asking for another cat. So I told her, let's get through the holidays because I don't want to have to train a cat with my decorations. <laughs> I'm just because, you know, I was on the fence with Kobe. Like, Kobe was tearing up some stuff. So, um, so who knows, you know? what what may come i don't know if we're gonna get them during the winter or spring but we will be looking into getting another animal um sometime in the future so that'd be that guys but i just wanted to do this vlog real quick because i you know i knew i was gonna have something to say but i am i'm overly blessed and thankful for the um for you know choosing the school that we chose and her having just a great time so I will see you all later. Um, now, I promise this time when I come back, it will be with a haul because I have some shopping to do. Not so much shopping, but, you know, I got some things I got to get. So, anyway. And we got some birthday gifts to pick up, and we got a birthday party next weekend. So, uh, Miss Pina has already talked about what she want to get for the person. So, I'm like, yeah, I said, just don't spend my money too much, okay? So, y'all have a great day. See you all later. Bye-bye.